Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel on Design. Today we are making a beautiful dress with a tulle fabric. This tulle fabric has a sequence. It's a beautiful dress for party, for any celebration, or even the kids can normally just wear it out for them to feel so good. And this is the back of the dress, and it has invisible zipper at the back of the dress. This is how it looks once you have done that. This dress that we make today is for three to four years old child. So this is how the dress looks. And I've also made a different one here, same fabric, but this one has a collar. You can see that this has a collar and this has a princess scene. And also this has invisible zipper at the center back. But for today, we are making this one with no collar because I don't have enough fabric. So the only fabric that I have left I just use it to manage making this dress with no color and no processing. So I decide to show you guys how you can make your dress with tool fabric. I have shown the measurement for my first layer and my second layer. And I will also show you how to adjust your own pattern paper. Please, please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video, make a comment down below if you have any question. If you're just stopping by before you exit our video, remember to subscribe and let's get started. So I have already cut out my fabric. This is my two to three years old pattern paper that I'm going to use to display. But the dress that we are making is for three to four years old child. And I've also cut out my lining and I've cut out my main fabric and I've cut out my two skirt. And I will tell you the measurement and the length of my two skirt. And the second layer will also tell you the measurement that I'm using. So this is how I cut all my fabric. And this time I'm using white invisible zipper so let's adjust our pattern paper first thing that you have to do you pick your front and back pattern paper this is the back of my pattern paper this is the front of my pattern paper there is no seam allowance yet on my pattern paper for the back i just only add two centimeter for the zipper seam allowance neckline shoulder arm or size seam bottom edge there is no seam allowance yet what you are going to do you pick your ruler from the neckline you measure inside one centimeter from the armhole measure inside one centimeter like this what you are going to do you just connect the one centimeter down to the neckline you connect the one centimeter down to the armhole and you place it on the armhole you also repeat the same process once you have done that, you take your scissors, you just go ahead and cut it out. For the front pattern paper, this is the only adjustment that you're going to make. When you place your pattern paper on your fabric, make sure to add your seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you prefer, you go ahead and add seam allowance on your pattern paper. And for the back pattern paper, you also repeat the same process. You pick your pen, you mark inside one centimeter right here you come down to the armhole one centimeter you go ahead connect it down you go ahead connect it down once you have connected down you take your scissors you just go ahead and cut it out once you cut that out so this two centimeter this for the zipper i add two centimeter seam allowance so i will fold it inside so you're going to decide the length of the neckline that you want to make so the back has a deep v neckline you can make it longer you can make it not so long so i will place my ruler from the very top of the uh, pattern paper you can measure that 10 centimeter is right here so this is my 10 centimeter what you are going to do instead of placing your ruler just make it as a v neckline you take your armhole curve like this 
so you're going to curve it out it's kind of a v neckline but not so not a sharp v neckline so you just place your arm hook curve you just go ahead and curve it out like this once you have done that then you take your scissors you just go ahead and cut it out once you cut that out this is how the back will look what you have to do when you place it on your fabric add seam allowance all around the neckline shoulder arm hole, side seam and at the bottom edge but if you want to add seam allowance on your pattern paper you just go ahead and add seam allowance on your pattern paper before cutting your pattern paper or place your pattern paper on your fabric then add the seam allowance all around and then cut it out and this is my tool fabric and i fold my tool fabric into two and i'm going to take the measurement of my tool fabric you place your measuring tape like this from the fold inside just go ahead and measure it all the way down you see my measuring tape end right here and and I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning. So if you're going to take your tool fabric, the first layer is 165 centimeter. If you're using inches, measure 65 inches. And I will take the length. The length is 20 centimeter. If you're using inches, measure eight inches. So this is the first layer of my tool fabric. This is my basket. I will tell you the pieces that I have for my back skirt. So I will just go ahead and count them out. One, two, three, four, five. I have five pieces right here. So for the basket, you're going to cut five pieces on one side, five pieces on the other side. So that means for the basket, you have 10 pieces of tool fabric. So I'm going to take the measurement of my fabric. You place your measuring tape like this. The measurement of my tool fabric is 46 centimeters. If you're using inches, measure 18 inch by width. And the length of my tool fabric, the length of my tool fabric is 40 centimeters. If you're using inches, measure 50.75 inch. So you are going to be cutting 10 pieces together. So this is the second pieces. I'll just put that aside. This will be the front pieces for my skirt. You can, the front pieces is always on fold. So that is why this one is more longer. So I will place my measuring tape from the beginning of my fabric. I will go ahead and just measure it all the way down. So my fabric is 89 centimeters. If you're using inches, measure 35 inch. And you also place your measuring tape, the length, the length is 40 centimeters. If you're using inches, measure 15.75 inch. So for the front skirt, I also have five pieces. So this is how I cut my fabric. Let's put the dress together. First thing that you have to do, you're going to put your top dress together. Put the both front fabric together. Pin the both shoulder seam. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, go ahead and stitch it together. And you also pick your lining. Pin the both shoulder seam together. Go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, you pick your skirt. This is my back skirt, two pieces. I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my skirt. And I'll pick the second pieces and I'll stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my skirt. When you're stitching a gather stitch thread, make sure you separate the skirt. Do not put them together. And I will take my front lining. 
I will also go ahead and stitch a gather stitch thread on my front lining. Once I am done with that, I will take my tool fabric. This tool fabric is folded into two, so I will fold it like this. Take it to my sewing machine and also stitch a gala stitch thread all around the first layer tool fabric. And I will take my tool fabric. So when I'm going to stitch a gala stitch thread on my tool fabric, what I'm going to do, I will pick three pieces together and I will stitch a gala stitch thread on three pieces. And I'll pick two pieces together and I'll stitch a gala stitch thread on the tool fabric because I don't want to put the five pieces together and stitch a gather stitch thread at the same time. That is how I'm going to stitch a gather stitch thread on my tool fabric. And you also repeat the same process with the second back fabric. Once you have done that, you take your front tool fabric. This is the front of my tool fabric. So I will open it like this. And then I will pick two pieces of the tool fabric, stitch a gather stitch thread on two pieces, and I will pick three pieces together and stitch a gather stitch thread on the three pieces. So go ahead and stitch them together. I have top stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress and I've also top stitched the lining shoulder seam. Take it to my ironing board, press the seam apart. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to put them together like this. Both front fabric are facing each other. You go ahead and pin around the neckline and you also go ahead and pin around the armhole. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine stitch around the neckline and then the armhole when you are stitching around the neckline make sure to measure inside your seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric for the center back measure it inside and continue stitching from there and end on the other side once you have stitched them together take your scissor snip around the both armhole and the neckline take it to your ironing board make sure to give it a good press and i've also stitched my lining this is my lining. I have stitched a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my lining. I just put the both sides seam together and top stitch. So this is how I have stitched my lining. I will take it to my overlock. I will just go ahead and overlock the both row edges. I have stitched the both arm hole and I've stitched the neckline. I take it to my ironing board, I give it a good press. This is how it looks once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to put the both side seam of the top dress together. Put them together like this, pin them properly, both made fabric together, lining together. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. You also come down to this other side. Put them together, both lining together, both made fabric together. Put, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Once you have done that, you take your tool fabric. This is my tool fabric. What you are going to do, you are going to go ahead and gather your tool fabric. You just go ahead and start pulling them like this. So when I'm stitching my gather stitch thread, I always stitch two stitches, not one. So you just go ahead and start pulling them and gather it all the way around. So you gather the boat back. Like I said, two pieces, I stitch it together. Three pieces, I stitch it together. So you go ahead and gather it, put that aside, and you will take the front. So the front is on four. You also repeat the same process. You just go ahead and pull your thread like this and you start pulling them gradually once you have done that and then you go ahead and just fix them properly just like this you can see the way i fix it gather the both back fabric and the front fabric 
together. I have stitched my top dress, put the both sides seam together. This is how it looks once you have done that. And this is the front of the top dress. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to put your tulle fabric together. I have gathered my tulle fabric. This is how it is right now. So this is the front of my tulle fabric. So what you're going to do, you put both two together like this. I will just cut out this excess thread. And then you take the back tulle fabric. This is the back tulle fabric. I have already also gathered the two pieces together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the both sides seam of the tulle fabric together. Both the back and the front. So when I'm pinning them together, I am pinning both front fabric together like this. This is the front of my fabric. This is the front of my tulle fabric. I will pin the both front together. So the edges will be at the front because I want to overlock my tulle fabric with French seam. I don't want to use my overlock. I want to use French seam to overlock the tulle fabric. So I will go ahead, put them together, and I will just pin the fabric together all the way down. Take your pin, go ahead and pin it down. I have pinned it together. This is how it is. You can see I have pinned this side together and I've also pinned this other side together. Make sure that when you're pinning them together, you check properly that you pick all the pieces and pin it properly. Take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch. Take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched the both sides seam of the tool fabric together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you open your tool fabric like this, pick your scissors, go ahead and trim out the excess. So when you're trimming it out, make sure you cut it very close to your stitch thread. Make sure that you don't cut your stitch thread. Go ahead and trim it all the way down and you repeat the same process on the other side of the side seam. I have trimmed it out. This is how it looks. The next thing that you have to do, you open your skirt and then you fold it over like this. You're pushing the seam inside. Push the seam inside like this you go ahead and pin that you just keep using your hand to push the seam inside and go ahead secure that with a pin so you just keep doing it like that all the way down and then you repeat the same process with the other side seam I have pinned it together. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch all over again. You come down to this other side, go ahead and top stitch all over again. I have stitched it together this is how it is once you have done stitching this will be the inside of the skirt and I've also stitched this other side this will be the inside why this will be the front of the skirt the next thing that we have to do we take our top dress so you open it like this this is the front and you take the first layer of your tulle fabric and you put them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you go ahead and start pinning because we are going to gather the first layer first before we place our mess skirt on top of it and pin it all over again and you come to this other side you repeat the same process i will place two pin here And I will go ahead and gather the first layer at the waistline of my top dress. I have pinned the first layer on the top dress waistline. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, 
top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that remove the gather stitch thread then you take your mess kit place it on top of it like this go ahead pin it in place take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all over again once you have done that remove the gather stitch thread also pin your lining on the waistline of the lining top dress take it to your sewing machine and also stitch your lining in place remember to remove your gather stitch tray i have stitched my skirt together i've stitched the lining and I've also stitched the main fabric. I take it to my overlock. I overlock the raw edges. This is how the dress looks once you have done stitching the skirt on the waistline of the top dress that you're making. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to take the measurement of where you want your zipper to end. So I just open my dress. This is how it is right now. So what you are going to do, you place your measuring tape from the very top, that is the neck, back neckline or center back. You place your measuring tape like this. You decide the length of where you want your zipper to end. So mine is 18 centimeters. If you're using inches, you can measure down seven inch. So you mark that. You come to this other side, you repeat the same process. Put them together like this. Take your measuring tape, place it at the neckline, that is the center back neckline. You measure them 18 centimeter or seven inch. It's right here. And you also go ahead and take the lining measurement. Place your measuring tape like this. You also measure the same length, 18 centimeter or seven inch. You mark that like this. So go ahead and also repeat the same process on the other side of the center back. Once you have take the measurement, the next thing that you have to do, you just go ahead and put your dress together like this. I will first pin the waistline, make sure that they are both mashed. And then I will go ahead and pull the bolt 18 centimeter together. I will place a different pin right here. This is my 18 centimeter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pin it all the way down. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. Once you have done top stitching, you also repeat the same process with the lining. Put the both waistline together like this. Make sure that they are matched. And then put the both 18 centimeter together like this. And I will go ahead, pin the center back together. Take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. I have top stitched the center back together. This is how it look right now once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do is to stitch your invisible zipper at the center back. I have shown on my YouTube channel on how to stitch invisible zipper at the center back. If you don't know, I will put the link on the description box below so that you can go and watch that video. All you have to do, pin your invisible zipper at the center back. Once you have done that, Thread your needle, use hand stitch to stitch your invisible zipper at the center back. Then remove the pins, take your dress to your sewing machine and stitch your zipper at the center back. Once you have done that, remove the thread that you use to hand stitch the invisible zipper at the center back. Then use your lining to cover the raw edges of your zipper. Once you have done that, you just use the opportunity to hem your lining. Fold it inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter, and 
top stitch once you have hem your lining your dress is finally ready so go ahead and top stitch and i will show you how my finally look this is the final look of my dress it's the beautiful dress step by step tutorial and i've also stitched my invisible zipper at the center back and i use my lining to cover my invisible zipper i add my label and the age of the child is for three to four years old this is how it look once you have done making your own dress thank you all so much for watching remember to thumbs up on our video if you have any question put it on the comment section i will do my best to respond to you and have a beautiful beautiful day bye